This week's deals at Miles Franklin are the beautiful one ounce silver Krugerrands, only 310 over spot. We also have 10th ounce gold maples, $35 over melt. That's a minimum of four. And last but not least, one ounce palladium bars, only $119 over spot. Email, text, or call me, slayer at milesfranklin.com. We have a massive inventory, all the best prices around. I'd be happy to help. That is slayer at milesfranklin.com. Now let's get into the video. Hecla Mining and First Majestic Silver are two of the biggest silver miners in the United States. Well, the CEO of both companies publicly came out and mentioned how they think silver is going to hit $100. This is Phillips Baker, the CEO of Hecla Mining. Solar demand to continue to push silver prices higher. This is when markets could see $100 silver. Now we see Keith Neumeyer, the CEO of First Majestic Silver, also calling for $100. Both of these were written within the past month. And these are just two of the dozens upon dozens of articles I've covered in the past month or so where people are calling for extremely high silver prices, not just silver miners, but the biggest banks in the world and also the wealthiest investors in the world as well. But they're not just pulling this number out of a hat. There's data and evidence backing their claims. So let's examine the evidence and see how realistic $100 silver truly is. Let's start with this interview featuring Phillips Baker, the CEO of Hecla Mining and Kitco News. Solar demand to continue to push silver prices higher and this is when markets could see $100. This is what I've consistently been saying. Silver's true potential comes from how much it's needed moving forwards in the green new era. This new digital technological era we're advancing in is requiring more and more silver. But to make things worse, production's actually down 2% and has been for the past eight years. So what do we do? Low supply, high demand does what? Pushes the price up. Actually, the past few years, we had record-breaking supply deficits. Record-breaking. And they're predicting in the coming years, we're going to continue to break that record. Hundreds of millions of ounces in the red. So that's what Phillips Baker's talking about when he says this is what's going to push silver to $100. Now, Keith Neumeyer, which is the CEO of First Majestic Silver, also called for $100 silver recently. So we're going to go over Phillips Baker's interview with Kitco News talking about his reasons, and then we will look at Keith Neumeyer's reasons as well. So, Kitco News. Silver is increasingly becoming an industrial and an electrical metal, says Matt Watson, founder of Precious Metals Commodity Management, LLC. On Wednesday, Watson recorded an episode of Green Rush with guest Phillips Baker, which is the president and CEO of Hecla Mining, the largest silver producer in the United States and the chairman of the Silver Institute. You guys wanna hear a crazy statistic that really puts in perspective how much silver we need? Demand exceeded 1.2 billion ounces, but last year, Phillips Baker said he mined 16 million ounces, and that was a lot. Usually it's around 10 million ounces, like I think Keith Neumeyer mined 10 million ounces last year, give or take, but it's always around there, 10 to 15 million ounces, where demand is 1.2 billion ounces. So Baker agreed that silver is less a monetary metal like gold than it used to be. Nearly a third of the global silver supply, about 300,000 ounces, is now used for solar power. Other industrial applications include automotive, solder and brazing alloys, and water purification. Now, the automotive industry is going to pick up I think a lot more than a lot of people realize. I feel like a lot of people really are underestimating the power of EV or BEVs. Every automobile company by the year 2030 is going to be an EV. So yes, solar already takes up around a third of the annual supply. EVs are also taking over as well. It's not like it's just one thing or another. We have multiple reasons and water purification. Did you guys know that silver can purify water? It has antimicrobial properties. Back in ancient biblical times, they used to think silver was magic. They thought it was this magical metal because it can purify water. You put silver in milk, it keeps the milk fresh longer. I mean, silver is truly 
something that is irreplaceable. It's the most highly conductive metal for thermal conductivity, electricity, and light sensitivity. And I guess they go on to say that right here. Silver is the most conductive material on the periodic table of the elements, followed closely by copper, making it ideal for electrification. Watson noted both metals are facing a supply crunch. And some people say, well, can't silver replace copper? No. Silver is the most highly conductive metal. Copper is a close second in terms of electrical conductivity, but copper's quality is much worse and it would actually be more cost effective to use or replace silver with copper. And we're talking about elements on the periodic table. Silver came here from asteroids and meteors. You, it doesn't just evolve out of the Earth's crust. We're talking about in the universe. These are elements. Nothing can replace silver. There's a very, very, very short supply of it, but a skyrocketing demand. That only means one thing. So he pulled up a chart showing that 2023 had a huge year for solar PV. PV stands for photovoltaics, which are PV cells in the solar panel. There was a big uptake. He said in every scenario, he doesn't see supply keeping up with demand. Baker agreed, noting that the market has been in deficit for the last three years, like I previously just mentioned. He said it takes about 17 years to bring a silver deposit from discovery to production. By Watson's calculations, silver output has been flat since 2005. So not only is production stuck around 850 million ounces on a good year, but demand is continuing to rise. So we're looking at about 40 years worth of material here, he said. Quote, this is going to be hard to catch up to this demand, and I can see us burning down our reserves very rapidly. Watson and Baker diverged from the amount of silver demanded by solar. Now think about this, folks, before they go into the other reasons. Our U.S. Defense Department raided our silver stockpiles, U.S. stockpiles, because silver is also heavily needed in military. Silver is heavily needed in military, up to 500 ounces of silver in a single Tomahawk missile. The average amount for missiles, I think it's like 200 ounces, give or take, but in Tomahawks, it's up to 500 ounces. Drones, satellites, surveillance, everything, all military is silver, and the United States is now involved in five wars. I mean, think about how much silver is just getting obliterated to pieces, never to be recycled, just obliterated. So along with war and AI chips, which require silver, there's so many new expansions, and that's what I've been saying for the past six years, is as we advance digitally, silver is going to need more uses, more requirements, but there's already so much less of it. Everyone wants a slice of the silver pie, but there is not enough pie to go around. Watson and Baker diverged over the amount of silver uh, demanded by solar. Watson predicts solar demand will peak within the next decade, noting where high rates of solar installation have occurred, such as California, electricity has become more expensive. Quote, it's really going to become a question of how much solar do we need, he asks. Baker called Watson out on his peak solar demand thesis. Quote, everybody who has said we're reaching a peak has been wrong. It's continued to grow, end quote, Baker said, emphasizing he is struck by the amount of additional silver being demanded by new applications. I mean, I really don't think people are realizing we're converting into a sci-fi type of reality, right? Think of a sci-fi movie. All that is digital, technological, silver. Nothing can replace it. We cannot escape this. It's not um, striking to me, or if you've been watching my channel, it shouldn't be because I've been mentioning this, but it feels like mainstream is finally catching on. So solar plus automotive, which adds another 200,000 ounces, EV uses more silver. Hold on. So he mentions right here, this is what I've been talking about. This is what I've been talking about, EV. EV uses more silver than gas-powered vehicles comes to nearly half the amount of silver currently being mined. Quote, I can't see any scenario where this is going to drop. The demand seems to be built in as far as I could tell, Watson concluded. Quote, photovoltaics are the central bank of silver. End quote. Baker summarized, quote, you have this base of demand that is going to continue to push silver price. I hope you guys are starting to piece the puzzle together when I talk about why my name is Silver Slayer and not Gold Slayer. That conversation does not exist with gold. Gold is not scarce. Most gold 
is recycled, re-scrapped, reused because it's used for bars and coins and necklaces. So it gets melted down, it gets pawned and sold and turned into more bars and coins and necklaces. An ounce of gold that gets dug up out of the ground is going to stay in circulation for centuries because it keeps getting remelted back down and scrapped out of uh, laptops and stuff because it's profitable to do so. Nobody's scrapping silver out of a laptop to get two pennies for it. Where gold, you might get a couple bucks. But also, silver, that ounce of silver that gets dug up will be thrown away within a couple of decades in a landfill never to be recycled. So now let's dive into why Keith Newmeyer, the CEO of First Majestic Silver, is also calling for $100 silver. So there's a significant distance for silver's price to go before it reaches the success of Newmeyer, which is boldly predicted. In fact, in order for the precious metal to jump to $100, its price would have to increase from its current value by around 350%. Newmeyer has previously stated that he expects a triple digit silver price in part because he believed the market cycle could be compared to the year 2000, when investors were sailing high on the dot-com bubble and the mining sector was down. He thinks it's only a matter of time before the market corrects like it did in 2001 and 2002. And commodities see a big rebound in pricing. It was during 2000 that Neumeier himself invested heavily in mining stocks and came out on top. Quote, I've been calling for triple digit silver for a few years now, and I'm more enthused now, end quote, Neumeier said at an event in January 2020, noting that there were multiple factors behind his reasoning, quote, but I'm cautiously enthused because, you know, I thought it would have happened sooner than it currently is happening, end quote. And that is definitely a lot to do with price manipulation. In his August 2022 interview with Wall Street Silver, he reiterated his support for triple digit silver and said he's fortunately not alone in his optimistic view. In fact, he's been surpassed in that optimism. Quote, I actually saw someone the other day call for $500 silver, he said, and I'm not quite sure I'm at the level, but give me $50 first and then we'll see what happens after that. Another factor driving Neumeier's position is his belief that the silver market is in a deficit. Now here's where we go with Phillips Baker also going into this supply demand issue. In May 2021, when presented with supply side data from the Silver Institute indicating the biggest surplus in the silver market history, Neumeier was blunt in his skepticism. Quote, I think these numbers are made up, he said. I wouldn't trust them at all. And it was actually pretty crazy because he was right. They actually had to revise their numbers, the Silver Institute did. So he pointed out that subtracting net investments in silver exchange traded products, ETPs, leaves the market in a deficit. And this is where the COMEX corruption does involve price manipulation. When I said that, I wasn't joking. I wasn't speculating. I, didn't, I don't have to bust out my tinfoil hat. This is truth. There's a huge facade in the COMEX. There's not that much silver out there that is supposedly in these contracts that these people think they own. If they tried to turn in all of their contracts, if everyone did, it would expose it. So, and they, they, um, they rely on people just keeping their cash, not never turning it into physical delivery. So he pointed out that subtracting net investments in silver exchange traded products leaves the market in a deficit. So, quote, I'm guessing the mining sector produced something in the order of 800, maybe 820 million ounces in 2022. And that's what I was talking about, 800, 850 million on a good year. And then he said when giving a fourth quarter 2022 overview for his company, quote, consumption numbers look like they're somewhere between 1.2, 1.4 billion ounces talking about demand exceeding 1.2 billion ounces. And he was actually right way back in 2022. That's due to all the great technologies, all the newfangled gadgets that we're consuming, electric vehicles, solar panels, windmills, you name it. All these technologies require silver. And that's a pretty big supply deficit, end quote. More controversially, Neumeier is in the opinion that the white metal will eventually become uncoupled from its sister metal gold and should be seen as a strategic metal due to its necessity in many everyday appliances, from computers to electronics, as well as technologies mentioned above. This is where I really, really agree. I've been mentioning this for a very long time. There is a day where silver will take on a life of its own. Regardless of what gold's price is doing, it will do what it does. 
Why are gold and silver prices so heavily correlated when they're used for two completely different things? Actually, silver is much, much, much more useful than gold. It's actually much more valuable than gold in terms of value, meaning what it can produce for the world. Gold just sits around in vaults, doesn't really do anything. And that's what billionaire Warren Buffett said. He said he wouldn't touch gold with a 10-foot pole. It just sits around and looks pretty. Warren Buffett heavily, heavily invests in silver. He's a billionaire, one of the wealthiest billionaires in the world, a successful investor. Um, so Newmeyer's March 2023 triple-digit silver call is in a long, it's a long-term call. He explained that uh, he believes gold will break past two th the $3,000. He thinks silver will only reach $30 in 2023. It could, and this is a good point right here, and this is what I, I made a video on this the other day. So, quote, it could be Elon Musk taking a position in the silver space, Neumeier said. Quote, there's going to be a catalyst at some time, and headlines in Wall Street Journal might talk about silver supply deficit. I don't know what the catalyst will be, but investors and institutions will wake up to the fundamentals of the metal, and that's when it will start to move, end quote. I've talked about that as well. Like, imagine, you know, because with the Green New Deal, this is set in stone mandated types of, uh, of, of um, you know, of levies put out if we're talking about zero net emissions by the year 2040 and we are already talking about x amount of solar panels this year imagine or, or even like elon musk tesla imagine like elon musk saying they have to cut down or cut back the amount of teslas or halt production uh, because we don't have enough silver or uh, you know let's say joe biden coming out and saying we have to pause or cut back the amount of solar panels or something along the lines of that or push back zero net emissions by the year 2050 because we don't have enough solar panel or we don't have enough silver to create these solar panels along those lines it wouldn't look like that i'm just in a general tone you get what i'm saying is where he's that's what he's saying as well where you know headlines could be someday that we don't have enough silver and this is the most important metal in the world at this point in time and looking like moving forward as well so if you want to go and buy a hundred billion dollars of silver or a hundred billion ounces of silver in the paper market, you might not even move the price because some bank just writes you a contract that says you own that, he said. And that's a good point. Saying banks are willing to get short because once the buying stops, they push the price down to get the investors out of the market and buy the silver back. If the miners started pulling their metal out of the current system, then all of a sudden the banks wouldn't know if they're going to get the metal back or not, so they wouldn't be taking the same risk that they're taking today in the paper markets. That is a beautiful way to really break down how this corruption, this price manipulation works. The month after the interview, his company, First Majestic Silver, launched its own 100% owned and operated mining facility named First Mint. So then we go into what affects the price. We all know a lot of stuff. You know, war, uh, the fundamentals, uh, you know, especially interest rates, the dollar index, 25 basis point, yada, yada, yada. The main point I was mentioning is that that's really where we're looking at is two of the biggest silver miners also calling out. Um, and I think that is something to take note of, right? Because these guys are closest to the metal, literally the ones digging it out of the ground and they're talking about supply deficits. They understand, they see, we don't have enough silver. We don't have enough of it to go green. And these guys would be the ones that know the best because these are the largest silver miners in the United States. So anyways, folks, I'm gonna wrap this video up here. Remember, if you wanted to buy gold, silver, or palladium, just email me, slayer at milesfranklin.com. I will hook you guys up. My giveaway entry video is still live. I will be... Um, jumping out of an airplane announcing the winners of the giveaway sh uh, shortly, I would say, in the next two or three weeks. I know it's it's hard because, one, my daughter's birthday is literally tomorrow, so I'm planning something next weekend for her with all the family. And, two, there's also the um, solar eclipse. I didn't know what we are doing with that. or So, yeah, I mean, it was weird timing, but in the next two, three weeks, um, let me know what you guys think about um, like prize wise. Let me know, give me some ideas. I, don't, I haven't picked a prize yet for prizes yet, haven't. So let me know what you guys would want. Um, so yeah, anyways, I'm gonna wrap this video up here. Make sure you like, subscribe, uh, subscribe, comment down below. Go join the Silver, uh, the Silver Club, Secret Silver Stacking Club, patreon.com slash silver slayer, because that is where we all can come and share our love for 
Precious Metals. I'll be doing live streams on there and here, posting exclusive member-only uh, prizes, giveaways, and videos, early access to videos, all types of stuff. So fun stuff, nice opportunities for everyone, and I'm glad you guys have stuck around, especially watching the video till the end. Thanks for tuning in. This was Silver Slayer. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.